No eggnog, no gobble goo, no cannolis, and the weight comes right off. Unfortunately, it ain't coming off me, it's coming off Jordan Davis. You want a war? You're gonna get one. What was that? He had no time for one more play. But the referee screwed us. The brother screwed us. The brother screwed us. At least they fought back and tried. Yeah, you, 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 you literally. The brother screwed us. The brother screwed us. He had to have one more opportunity for one more play. Dallas still stinks. King Thing back here and hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So it looks like Jordan Davis is going to play this weekend. Yes. Yes. I really wanted him for this game. Not only that, it looks like Jordan Davis is felt. He looks like he is in shape and he's ready to go, which is big time. Now we're going to get into it in a second. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe for daily Eagles content, NFL content. You definitely don't want to miss it. We're in December now, okay? Things are going to pick up. The big Cowboys choke season is almost upon us. You don't want to miss it. And if you've been subscribed for a while, you know the deal. I love you. Stay for support. Just double check. Double boo walk check. Make sure you're still subscribed. Now, before I get into this video... I do have one announcement. Um, I will not be streaming Thursday night, uh, Thursday night football tonight on the what the hell is that? On the Erect Penis Network. That's right. I will not be streaming tonight. Um, I got I got some things going on. I'm gonna have to deal with. But I will be streaming Sunday night football and Monday night because both those games are important to the Eagles. One's a division game, uh, the Cowboys game on Sunday night. And then, of course, Monday night, you have the Saints at the Buccaneers. I think both of those games are more important for me to stream than tonight. So, not going to be streaming tonight. However, um, you can find it on Amazon Prime, Erect Penis Network. Because that's what it looks like. That's what the damn symbol looks like. Anyways, as far as the Eagles go, big game this Sunday. I mean... This is the game, I would say, out of all the games, even before the Eagles lost to Washington, I would say out of the whole entire schedule, the one game that a lot of people think the Eagles may lose is this game to Tennessee. I think it has a lot to do with the matchup uh, and the fact that they got Derrick Henry uh, and they got a pretty good defense. So uh, this is the game I think a lot of people think they're going to lose. I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way for many reasons. More I'll say for tomorrow in the preview prediction video. But one of the big things that is happening for the Eagles is, is possibility of getting Jordan Davis uh, back. Uh, he did practice today. He is he is on his he's not activated on the roster yet. He's in his 21 day window for um, coming back off of the IR. But it's looking good. It's looking real good. The final decision will be the coaches, and we'll see. Uh, according to the, um, as far as the injury report goes, besides the guys that are already on IR, uh, it was pretty clean. Uh, C.J. Garner-Johnson was the only player on the Eagles roster not at practice today. He has not been placed on IR as of now. Limited due to injury was wide receiver Devontae Smith groin, and then Patrick Johnson practice uh, full. Um, then it says Jordan Davis isn't on the report because he's not back yet on the 53. Uh, Jeff Mosher, uh, that comes from Jeff Mosher. Um, the whole Devontae Smith groin thing, that that to me, I wonder what's going on. Uh, I, I, you know, so groin's, groin's a weird thing because a groin could last for weeks and weeks and weeks. A kid nag. So I, I really wonder like what level of a groin injury this is because I do not want Devontae Smith to be hurt uh, going into the playoffs. So is this something where I think he's going to risk playing this week? It doesn't sound like it. So I'm assuming it's not that big of a deal. I haven't heard anything else really on it yet. So 
We'll see. As far as Jordan Davis uh, goes, they talked to him today, and this is what he said. According to Josh Talentino, sounds like a cannoli eating friend, the Paisan from that old sunny peninsula. He says, Jordan Davis said, I quote, feel great. The Eagles standout rookie defensive tackle said he's thrilled to be back on the field. Says the decision whether or not to play versus the Titans will come down to the coaching staff, as we just talked about. Davis adds, I'm pushing it full tilt as far as I can go. And that's what I like to hear. He's pushing it full tilt. And this cat won't shut up. You hear that? I gotta get rid of him. So I wanted to show you the cat that was making all those sounds. He's making mating sounds. He's looking for, he's looking to go try to make some babies with his, with mama, you know. But this is Dante. He's the dad of all the cats. Full bred ragdoll. Now, he's a cool dude. He's a cool dude. But I got to get him out of here while I'm filming a video. All right, so where are we? Okay, so right before my cat was making all those weird sounds, trying to tell everybody it's ready to make some kitties, uh, we were about to talk about Jordan Davis and his weight. Because one of the things that, you know, and I, and I said this, shout out to Thomas Mott, but I was on his show last night, and we were talking about this very subject. I was saying, the only thing I worry about a big guy like Jordan Davis is... Uh, if he puts on weight or gets, you know, out of shape over the course of the four weeks that he is, you know, missing uh, missing time, especially if it's an ankle and he can't do, you know, he can't run around and things like that. But it could go both ways, right? A big guy like that could put on weight, take off weight really, really quick, okay? Um, but here's what Jordan Davis said today. And this comes from Josh Talatino, like I said, a paisan, I think. Uh, but this is what he said. Jordan Davis said... He lost 20 pounds over the past four weeks. 20 pounds, yes! Said his conditioning was a focus with the training and strength staff. He felt like he was playing at a fast level today during practice. And I can tell you this. The guy's 300, what, 33 pounds, 35 pounds when he was with the Eagles. Uh, I think I think as the season started, if he lost 20, if he lost 20 pounds, you're talking about 315, 320, somewhere around there. Uh, I think if he plays under 325, uh, he's going to be a monster, a complete and utter monster. He's already fast at 340. He's already big, okay? He's already strong. And um, conditioning to me, the two issues with Jordan Davis are his conditioning and he's got to learn to become a better pass rusher. And I got to tell you, uh, if, if this is the way it is, and he's actually out there right now losing 20 pounds and he's moving faster, he's dangerous. He is dangerous. He is going to double move walk. You know what? Some has. So I think that is huge, 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 okay? Now, in practice today, this is what they said. Jordan Davis is working with multiple rotations with the D-line. On separate reps, Davis was lined up next to Nadama Kinsu and Linval Joseph. Davis also worked on special teams from his spot as an extra blocker, blocker with the field goal unit. Um, dude, that is some meat. That is some meat, uh, you know, uh, on that defensive line. Can you imagine short yardage situations? you got Linvald Joseph and you have Jordan Davis both lining up next to each other. It's absolutely fantastic. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. And it's good work by Jordan Davis, man, because... You know, when you can't run and stuff like that, and you're a big guy like that, you could put on weight quickly. Um, so for him to be worried and focused on that, it's very smart of the staff. It's smart of the coaches. And it's good work by Jordan Davis. I'm very proud of him. Uh, 20 pounds later, and he said he felt faster. I'm sure he's going to look fantastic. You know, the question is going to be how many reps can he get? If he can play thir over 30% of the snaps, in my opinion, on the first game back, I think we'll be in good shape. Uh, I think adding Jordan Davis is a huge factor for the Philadelphia Eagles. It just is. If you could add Jordan Davis, and I'm talking about this specifically this game now. If you can add Jordan Davis specifically this game, okay, if you could add him back into the lineup against Derrick Henry, I, I like the Eagles' chances. I, I think it makes a big deal. It's a huge deal for the Eagles. It's going to be fascinating to see how this rotation goes with the Eagles, and hopefully they'll, they'll use them. Now, obviously, 
it's not set in stone he's going to play. We they, they may say, all right, look, you know, he he ran around, he's looking okay, but we're going to wait another week. Uh, that pos that could still happen. We don't really know. However, if Jordan Davis can play and he's 20 pounds later and he's in shape and he could get, like I said, first game back, if he get over 30% of the snaps, which I think is probably a lot to expect his first game back. But, um, I, I mean, I think Jordan Davis, I want Jordan Davis getting 50, 60% of the snaps, eventually more, you know, but he's got to learn to be a better pass rusher. And that, that will come in the offseason. There's no question he is a huge impact on the Eagles' run defense. He's been all year. So I'm excited to have him back. And it should it should be pretty interesting. Should be pretty interesting. Um, one other thing I want to kind of talk about, and this, and this was kind of a follow-up to yesterday's video. We had a video yesterday in which we are talking about the, the fact that Malcolm Jenkins could possibly come back or he suggested he would like to come back and play. Um, one of the things, and we talked about this on the Thomas Ma Show too, shout out to him, um, Malcolm Jenkins is still under contract. He's still under contract with the New Orleans Saints. So there's no way you can really do it without making a trade for him. To me, that makes the it impossible. It's not worth it. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't try it. Uh, hell no. I ain't giving the New Orleans Saints nothing. Nothing. I'm only taking from the Saints. Take from the Saints. Take from New Orleans. Take it. We got their first round pick. And that first round pick, by the way, is going to be a huge, huge thing for us. Uh, right now, it's at number six. And listen, they should lo they should lose to Tampa this week. Why, why not? There's no reason why they shouldn't lose to Tampa Monday Night Football. I believe it's in Tampa. Let me see. I got it right here. Yeah, it's, it's in Tampa. And Tampa's coming off a, a bad loss to Cleveland. So the Saints could very well go 4-9. And then you need, you know, we just need some other breaks. I mean, we need some of these other teams to, to, to kind of win. Maybe the Rams could win would be nice. You know, uh, you have the Raiders. If they could win, that would be nice. Um, you know, Pittsburgh, let them win again. Lions, you know, we need a, a little bit of break. But um, this Saints pick is going right where where we want. I mean, this is this is perfect. Last year we got screwed over with that Miami pick. This this year is much better. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy your evening. Uh, it's going to be a late, little bit of a late night for me tonight, uh, but I will be back tomorrow. I will have two videos out tomorrow. I'll have my preview prediction video, and then I have another unboxing I'm going to be doing. So look for those things, and then we go into Sunday. Huge game. We're going to have a doubleheader. Uh, we're going to watch the Eagles. We're going to, of course, stream that game. Then we're going to stream the Cowboys game Sunday night. And then the Monday night, we're going to stream the Saints and the Buccaneers. So with that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. You know, this is going to be a little early of a call-out. But I got a man to call out one pizzle. Tank, 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 tank. Hey, baby. Hey, baby, die. Where's my mayonnaise sandwich? Tank, tank, tank. You're playing Washington this week. You better win. But I'll tell you this. Next week, you ain't going to avoid me. I ain't Mark Holmes. I'm coming for you, pizzle. I'm coming for them meats. Denzel Washington out.